bless God. I feel so thankful today to be able to have this Bible study today is um, one of the most important Bible studies that I've ever seen. Um, I had a real breakthrough that I wanted to share with you that um, I asked God to give me a word last night and it was me 3, 4, 8, and, and I just said, God, please just give me a word, please just tell me something. And I opened the Bible to this verse in Corinthians, and I have to pull over and read it to you it's right now, because I can't, you know, drive. Um, but I'll just tell you, you know, a little bit about it, and, um, I can't do it justice, because I can't memorize it, I mean, I just, I just read it, I mean, I've read it before, I've read the Bible, and, and as a matter of fact, I even had it underlined, so, um, I know I've read this at least twice, and I just, it just finally, like, broke through to me, because the devil came and stole it, he stole what I had learned before, and I never really understood it, and I just asked God to please forgive me, okay, because I didn't know exactly how important this is, because I'll have to tell you, there's, uh, um, you know, very important things in the Bible, and people, and, you know, like, for instance, Jesus, God, you know, they're number one important and prayer, I think, Holy Spirit and all that. And so, um, when I've discovered this about prosperity prayers, um, I was just, first I had went through a lot of different emotions because when I read it, I just had to read it like over and over and over. And at first I thought, because I'm dyslexic, and I thought I was getting it backwards. Sometimes I gotta just slow down and read it again. My mind will just flip it around. And um, so I was like, wait a minute, what is this saying? You know? And what really caught my eye was because it was a couple red lines of Jesus, you know, on the page. And it was almost like some of the last things he said. And then over here it was, uh, and I read that and everything. And, you know, I'll be audio about that as well, but there was one thing that I just really feel led to do a video about today, and that is this prosperity praying, and um, I've never heard any pastors preach on it on TV, and I never heard anyone, um, any pastors in the churches I've never attended, um, not any Christians that I've ever known, ever taught me this. Um, so I'm new and learning, and I just wanted to, like, you know, talk to you about it and see what you think. Maybe you can leave a comment. Maybe you're, you're already quite, you know, understanding in this verse. So when I read it, I, I, I was in shock because I was like, oh, my gosh, I've been doing wrong. I've been doing it wrong. And, um, and so what it says, what, so, uh, something about, um, what's behind me, I think I need to pull over, I'm like trying to, you know, drive good and everything, but I've got, every time I get in the car, they've got like 10 different sheriffs behind me, um, and I'm like, what did I do? I mean, am I some kind of criminal or something? I, you know, every time I make a move, I mean, a video, you know, I got, like, two, three, four cops behind me, and so, not that I'm doing anything wrong, but you know how they, like, try to scare you, and just, like, follow you, and they know what you're doing, and, um, you know, while they're all along robbing the whole station, and you're wondering, like, where are all the goods going that they confiscate, and then you keep thinking, let me just go up here real quick and pull over, because I don't really like this guy following me. Okay. And I shouldn't have to feel this way.
Yeah, he's gonna follow me everywhere I'm going. I'm just so sick of it. Let me pull over and read this first. Because I meant to pull over and read it. This is the way it's gonna be. They're gonna be hunting down Christians. Every time you preach the word, I mean, you're gonna have the police behind you. They'll be against the law one day. People, I'm telling you, this is crazy. Okay, let me preach the word here. So it's 1 Corinthians 10, 14 um, was the page that I pulled up. And then it was um, 1 Corinthians verse 11. Um, it starts with prosperity and worship. And I made a mistake if I said prosperity and praying. Because it is in worship and praying, but I guess they just put worship, okay? And I'm going to read um, all the way from verse 1 to verse... 16 so bear with my reading because I am dyslexic and I also have stuttering and everything you know and my eyes kind of mess up a little but I don't need glasses so okay here I go prosperity in worship God please give us a word and help us understand this in Jesus name amen I praise you for remembering me in everything and for holding to the teachings just as I pass them on to you. And this right here um, is real significant because um, people who hold, you know, God, Jesus' traditions should know this. And I, I'm going to really make a serious video on this and show you pictures when I get a chance on all the people who do this and are not following this. Okay. Now I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head. So how many religions are, is it a tradition to have a, like a um, hat on or some kind of prayer um shawl over their head. I like to know when it says, let me repeat verse 4, every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head. So why are they teaching us and all these new gospel singers wearing all these hats in the church and people preaching with these hats on these men? I just like to know. Okay. Verse 5, and every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. It is just as though her head were shaved. If a woman does not cover her head, she should have her hair cut off. And if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut or shaved off, she should cover her head. A man ought to not cover his head since he is the image of the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of man. For man did not come from woman, but woman from man. Neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. For this reason, and because of the angels, the woman ought to have a sign of authority on her head. In the Lord, however, woman is not independent of man, nor is man independent of woman. For as woman came from man, so also man is born of woman. But everything comes from God. Judge for yourselves. It is proper for a woman to pray to God for her head, for her head covered. With her head covered. Let me repeat that again. Is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head covered? Does not the very nature of things teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a disgrace to him? But that if a woman has long hair, it is her glory? For long hair is given to her as a covering. If anybody wants to be contentious about this, we have no other practice, nor, nor do the churches of God. Okay, so I'm going to be discussing that right here. I guess you're going to let the police get ready to drive off. I probably should have took off a little bit sooner and they would be right behind me. about 
with this. Um, why is it that they keep teaching us um, to go in the churches? Why is it every single church I've ever went into was praising and worshiping God? And no, not none of the women. I mean, some churches do have hats. Women wear hats. I've seen. Um, but I'm just wondering, you know, why don't they have this, like, mandatory when you come in? They should have something for you to cover your head. And um, knowing that your prayer and your worshiping is just like bad and it's seen as a naked head. And so all this time, I've been um, praying, worshiping, praising God with a naked head and I feel um, really bad about it. I just can't believe that all these pastors let me down and not one of them could teach me what was right and how to get my prayers heard and how to the right way for me to um, worship God and pray and so all this time I've just been just going around in circles with a naked head and I just feel really deceived and I don't know about you but I just want to know why no one is bringing this up no one is showing us the way and the truth and the life which is through Jesus and we're just being misled and I see all these pastors standing up on these pulpits and none of them are really worshiping God with their heads covered okay That's my little thing I want to talk to you about. And um, right now I got a hat on. I know that there was a reason why I kept wanting to wear a hat. And um, I'm starting a new Christian clothing line. And I'm designing um, hair, um, you know, coverings for women. And um, because, of course, they, I don't have any on the market. There's none I've liked. And, um... So I'm basically working with a hoodie and a hat and um, hoping that my prayers would be prosperous at least today. And um, see now they got the Upward Sports little. I was looking at the colors um, today and I was doing some research on colors. Um, with clothes and all that and the Illuminati Masonic colors and how this purple and all this was crazy and I put it on this Christian um, clothing website if you want to look that up and I'm going to be doing some videos with that as well and um, that should be coming real soon So, information you need, reporting all one word with the U.